Hi, I'm, I'm Charlie Vanderbrook, the president of Rest Haven. And Rest Haven is full of great stories. In some ways, it's what drives us, um, understanding that we're helping people through very important times in their lives. And sometimes as people get old, those are the largest transitions. And by the time people come to talk to Rest Haven, they have some special needs and we're there for them. Uh, we have a passion for the community, a passion for caring, and finally a passion for giving, especially to people who are growing older. One of the greatest stories that I can think of is when there was um, a little lady named Dorothy who I took care of, um, but I love to talk with her. She always made me laugh. Um, and one day I was sitting with her in the hallway and I was holding her hand and I was just talking to her, um, you know, and she looked at me and she said, thank you. You know, she said, thank you for loving me. Thank you for caring for me. I had a resident who um, just loved to sing, absolutely loved to sing. And he had a bit of a sore throat and, um, or just like a tickle. So um, I said, man, Justin, you need to uh, get, a, get a drink. And he proceeds to gargle, uh, what a friend we have in Jesus. And he's like, oh, go, go, go. And I, I, just, I just stopped playing and I looked at him and I said, I have never accompanied a gargalist before and um, I'm not thinking this is good for either of us. For my mom, she always just found a lot of um, uh, delight and purpose in um, making up poems. Like I'd type them up on a on the computer and run them off and she'd give them to people and they would use them uh, for some of their devotions. I love how they do bus trips. <laughs> they take them out, you know, just that we want it, We want you to have the best quality of life. And if you are able to go out, we want to take you out. Summer we went to um, State Park. Beautiful day. They parked us right in front of the pavilion and. Oh, it was such a gorgeous day. We've never worn it before. And this year they decided we would do the live mannequins in the front door. <laughs> one of them was legally blind. Uh, one was over 90, just had had her 90th birthday. One had an oxygen uh, tank with her all the time. And the last one was uh, the very, very short and she was the grandmother. We were the, uh, the golden girls. And we had more people out there. You couldn't even get close to taking a picture outside. All of the team has just been wonderful, and they really stepped up to the plate. When my dad had um, was diagnosed with cancer just eight weeks ago, we needed to have afternoon care come in, and that ha had to happen very quickly. Uh, for years, I took care of a retired professor by the name of Dr. Paul Freed who literally had no family. His family was killed in the Holocaust. And yet I saw in his final years the joy that came on his face every time he walked into a dining room or into an activity because Rest Haven truly became his family. They give to us in the way that we need to feel the security and comfort of being able to keep mom and dad in in the home. And frankly, if it hadn't been for Rest Haven, mom and dad would not have been able to stay in their home as long as they have. When Jesus was uh, talking about that parable of the sheep and the goats, it wasn't that you had to heal anybody. You just had to visit people and you know, to come alongside of them. Parataleo, called to be alongside of somebody. And so Rest Haven has, has wanted to do it, and I think they've, they've done a nice job of coming alongside of people. As one of the residents of the Warm Friends said one time, this, these truly are warm friends. And the support that the f people feel here is as important with each other as it is with the employees or the paid staff. I was with the man in the elevator this morning, and his wife has just been at the care center and probably will be and everybody cares. We've either been there and done that or, you know, we maybe we'll stick a, a loaf of banana bread at his door or something like that. It's, it's very caring. It's very ecumenical. It isn't uh, uh, that you have to have certain prescribed beliefs to belong to the family. I really had no intention of moving from my home. I was very happy there, a nice neighborhood, a nice house. I like my house. 
but my girl said, we just don't like you living alone. And I watched the, do, the, the west wing go up, the east wing go up, and uh, here it is, my own mother, uh, who said, I'm never going to go to Res David. She has been happy here, and she's in that first unit that was, that was built. It's um, something you feel safe, and you feel uh, protected, and um, I think it's just a restful place, and I sleep well. <laughs> So it's really, it's um, like a beautiful octopus with lots of fingers in the community. And you feel that there's unity and uh, you feel comfortable in the community when you come from a family that's strong. It's, that's the time spent will be, will be the blessing. That's, that's the heart of it, I think. Rest Haven is all about heart. Rest Haven is all about heart. Rest Haven, it's all about heart. Rest Haven, it's all about the heart. It's all about my heart. I think the most uh, unique thing about Rest Haven really is in the people. Uh, and I, by people, I mean both staff and the residents here.